Many of us take the simple act of walking for granted, but millions of people around the world do not have that ability. And for those confined to a wheelchair, walking upright may seem like an impossible dream. But a new device is changing this reality for some. It's a wearable robot that provides the disabled with the support and ability to move. In this segment, VOA's Carolyn Pursuti reports on this remarkable device and talks with me about it. Therapists at Good Shepherd Rehabilitation Center are measuring Emilio and adjusting a high-tech suit. That suit will lift him out of his wheelchair and prompt his legs to move. The hardware is an exobionic exoskeleton, a wearable robot. Just getting everything right for you. Sure. When the therapist pushes the button, the exo guides the patient forward and up. Then these battery-powered motors take over as muscles, encouraging the legs to move. Well, what happened to him originally? He had a spinal cord tumor, and he, had, he went in for an operation to get it removed. They removed that one, but they found another one, which they couldn't remove. And he had been in a wheelchair ever since. Bob Emilio leads the freewheelers basketball team. But today, he's scoring in a different way. It's Bob's first day to walk alone in 26 years. How did you arrange to be there for that? Well, it's funny how I stumbled on to the idea of doing this as a story because someone handed me a magazine article and said, this would be a good story idea for you. And I looked at the story and I thought, mm. but the magazine page happened to turn over and it was a story about exobionics. Hmm. And I thought, now that is the story I want to do. So I emailed the company and I said, I want to be there when someone stands up for the very first time and it took nine months. Um, and that was the first time. And you know, his daughter didn't even see him walk before. She didn't remember his, her dad walking because she was so young when this happened. It has other effects on people in that sort of situation. Mm -hmm. what, what else does it do for them? It also does something to them mentally. It gives them hope, like Kevin had mentioned. Kevin Olt is an EXO success story. He says EXO brings more than physical changes. When you put hope into somebody that lost hope, it changes their whole way of living and life, 100%. That word hope is a powerful word. Right off to the left. Russ Angold is the co-founder of Exobionics. They still bear their own weight on their bone structure. The Exo just provides the support and the ability to move. When you're sitting down, people are, are looking down at you and you got to look up and a lot of times you don't hear real well when you're down, sitting down. So it's very important to be, that, that you can be eye to eye. Well, how does the Good Shepherd Rehab Center choose patients to, yep. to be a part of this? They have to want to be a part of it, first of all. And then they have to have that forearm strength to be able to do it, and they work with them for months until they get the strength, the bone density that they need to do this, to actually accomplish this. And they say, it's not to replace a wheelchair, but it's just another form of therapy for the patient. Now, and that's are, we, how they do are it. we seeing these types of things in other countries? Okay. Not only EXO, but there are other wearable oh, okay. devices around. Um, they're in Europe, they are in South Africa, and Mexico, and Japan, as far as we know. EXO has 50 of these devices all over, only five belong to individuals. Where does the future go from here? More nimble. Right now, I don't know if you could tell in my story, but it's very cumbersome. Yes. And did you notice how the bulky, walk is? Yeah. Right. And every time the EXO moves Bob's leg, you hear whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Okay. That's the sound of the device <laughs> and, and just how it operates. So they want a more nimble device so that it's a natural gait for mm -hmm. someone when they're walking. Um, they may come up with something smaller, but again, it needs to be that big in order to lift the body up of a chair. How heavy is this thing? It weighs about 50 pounds, which is That's about 22 heavy. kilograms. Yeah. Um, but remember, the patient isn't wearing it per se. The, the uh, weight goes into the right, ground right, right. because it's helping the patient stand up. Yeah. So they're not carrying it on their back. Oh, wow. Okay. Great. <coughs> Emilio's service dog named Bear gets protective. He's never seen him stand before. Forgot how tall I was. Within three minutes, Emilio walks. One, two, three. Bring the walker forward. 
So we all of our stories go on YouTube. The story is on YouTube. There's already been some comments. What are you reading? Well, one person wrote, and I'll, I'll read you what they say. They say, I am still waiting for the quadriplegic version of this device. And I called EXO on that, and I said, what's the deal here? Um, can they use this? And they said, absolutely. As long as they have a bit of forearm strength, they can work on that. And they said they've already worked with high levels of spinal cord injuries. Wow. So there is, there is hope for that uh, population as well.